Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to another video, and today I've decided I want to start doing some Greg Tech 6 tutorials because I've taken an interest in this recently, and I've realized there's not a ton of documentation on how this game works, and I would like to kind of help out people that may be new to Greg Tech 6, and I just want to explain things in a precise thing precise way and today i'm going to be demonstrating how to build the coke oven and hook it up to a tank so you can store cholesterol oil so when you make your coke oven it's a three by three structure so you need 25 fire bricks 26 because you need one for the coke oven controller which is made by this so i'm gonna do some crafting here grab the materials out need uh, oh oh I don't have a screwdriver hold on and now to assemble the coke oven you can use not enough items to autofill or you can't autofill with the advanced crafting table unfortunately but there we go we get our coke oven so when you get the structure like this I guess I can level this off the ground slightly so it's easier to export. So let's just go like two up here. And yep, it's a three by three structure that's hollow. So you want to do this. And you want to put the controller on one of the middle sides here. At Am I missing a fire brick? Okay, I'm missing a fire brick. So you do need one more. But, this is how you assemble your coke oven here. So if I get some coal, we can just make coke that way. You can use lignite coal as well to get your cholesterol oil too. And also wood to get charcoal. But once you get that, what you want to do is you probably want to hook up a tank. Because this will work. You just need a f way to ignite the coke oven. So if I just get a match. Go like that. It will start running. And it does 16 items at once. At least with coal. I don't actually know if that's with all items. But once you get that. You probably want to make yourself a tank. Also by the way. These are the materials to make the coke bricks. I also left the other ones in there. So I forgot to mention that earlier. These are the materials you'll need for the tank. So let me just grab the rest of this stuff here and we'll start building the tank walls. And I didn't build the coke oven because you also need 26 buckets of water as well. So it would just be annoying the craft. I did realize that had enough fire bricks. I just left it in there. And oops, I'm cheating things in. That's not, what's, that's not what I mean to do. But this is how you craft your walls here. So you get treated wood by dipping the cholesterol oil in here. You dip it in a bath to get your treated planks. I might make a video on that later with some of the basic Greg Tech machines. You get your lead plates. You go like that. And you need a hammer and a saw. So you can just craft those up. And then you need to make your main valve, which just requires you to do this pattern. Oh, these are flipped. Oh, I need a soft hammer. There we go. And now you can construct the tank wherever you want. But what I would do... I would put your tank near your coke oven so you don't have to move the fluid as far. And just make sure that your main valve is facing downwards. Okay, I did that wrong. I need to go get my axe. You need to make sure your main valve is facing downward like that. Make sure you're not crouching when you place it. And then what you want to do... Uh, I'll just grab some blocks here, just so I can move around. What you want to do 
is the coke oven auto outputs with gravity along with the tank. So what you can do is you can pipe your cluster oil, I believe, directly into the tank. It doesn't matter where. I don't think it needs to be on the top, but I'll see if I'm wrong here in a second. And then what we can do is we can put a fluid meter on here to see when this fills up with fluid, which it should in a second because this is about to finish making coke. So if we just let this run, yep, it's being pumped into the tank, and there we go. All of the cholesterol creosote, I don't actually know how to say it, all of this oil is being stored in this tank. And then if I just wanted to get like a drum, let's just say I wanted to move all of my cholesterol oil somewhere, creosote oil somewhere else, like this drum here. All I would need to do is pump it into the barrel like that. And as you can see, it went into the barrel. It's in there. So, yep, this valve will auto-output with gravity just like the Coke oven like that. And that's pretty much the gist of this. One thing you should keep in mind, though, is that if you want to grab from the Coke oven or the barrel, you do need a ceramic tap at least. So if I just stop auto-exporting here, gotta use an axe for this. I should probably turn off daylight cycle on this test world. It does kind of get in the way. If I get a bucket, you do need a tap to extract from any of these. So as you can see, I extracted from that. And if you want to manually pump into the coke oven, or no, manually pump into the tank, you can grab a ceramic funnel put it on the top and you can bucket it in here like that but that's how the coke oven and the wooden tank works this also works with metal tanks as well but i just used a wooden one because you'd cra likely craft this early game if any of you have any questions be sure to leave them in the comments section and i will do my best to my ability to answer these and if you guys have any suggestions for future GT6 tutorials, then I would be glad to oblige. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.